All right, thank you, Cancer, for your patience. This is your January 2019 reading. Um, I do want to thank you guys so much because I'm now over 200 subscribers, so I just want you to know I appreciate you. Um, sorry again for this being late. To make sure that you guys are first priority, just make sure to like, um, share to fellow Cancers, and um, subscribe. I do the order of the videos based on what has been viewed the most. So without further ado, we'll get to your reading for January 2019. Good answer. Let's see, let me pass. Oh, a lot of cards that was trying to come out. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the past, so you may have felt like um, you weren't getting any opportunities as far as Something physical, whether that be money, or maybe you wanted a new house, or um, something as far as there was something physically you felt like you couldn't attain, or you weren't offered the opportunity to have. Maybe you didn't get the raise you were expecting, um, the bon bonus you were expecting. Um, Something along those lines. Could have been dealing with an earth sign in the past. So, Virgo. Oh, that was too many. Virgo, um, Taurus, or Capricorn. Let's see. Um, in the current time, I show that you feel as if there may be some type of Either you're having money issues, which very cool, well, where very well could be with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse in the past. So you could be having some current money problems in the current time um, because of something that you felt like you didn't have the opportunity or you didn't receive um, in the past. Um, or you feel like there's not enough equal give and take. Um, or like in the past also you could have felt like you weren't being offered stability. Um, maybe you were just offered a good time or, you know... Um, something emotional fulfillment but not really like stability um, as well so if you're if this is in regards to a relationship um, now you could feel like there's some type of there's no equal give and take um, because um, there was conflict um, and there was not an offer there was like an off there was it was almost like there was an insincere offer of love that didn't have any substance um, that, that you're healing from because you were able to look at it, things from a different perspective and, and not take a major leap of faith. So you were trying to protect yourself. But is that you? There was conflict going on. So it's like somebody is not investing In a relationship. As a matter of fact, this never mind. I feel like so somebody's not trying to see the other perspective and take a leap of faith um, because of pain in the past, um, or maybe even pain in this current situ situation that's going on. So there seems to be no current progress, no equal give and take. And this is a general reading, so again, um, I did fill that by, like, this could be, like, financial as well. So maybe at work, things aren't going as you had planned. And nobody's filling up, like, doing their part or investing. It's like people don't care um, at work as well. So if this is more about work, it could just be people don't care at work. And so, yeah, it's like there's not that very inspiring energy or like you don't know what's going on in regards to work like there's unexpected things going on at work I feel like and in regards to a relationship I just feel like there's just big changes going on and there and there just may be a little uncertainty there as well or maybe it's just changing and evolving but like and everyone's just kind of 
with the fool being in reverse that I saw in that big pile of cards, like there could just be that nervousness in regards to the unknown in that area as well. In the future, I do see the Empress, so that is good. So no matter what the outcome, you will find fulfillment. Um, in the future, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Um, I do see a lot of Earth energy here, so really very well could be a Taurus. Um, but again, we do have the Libra there with the Empress card, but just a lot of abundance. Um, so it's like whatever's going on right now, it will work out for the better. We'll get some clarification on that. Um, but I see in the future growth and happiness, love, whether that's love for you or someone else. Look like, see that loving energy. See what could block you from that. Something wants to come out. <laughs> no. Okay, now, so it's like, okay, in the past and the present, I can see frustration. Maybe you feel like you're blocked or you're not able to get where you want to get to um, or where you want to be. Very well could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra because we do have the Justice card in the reverse blocking. Um, so... You could, what could block you is not having the ability to like, because you, if you see in this card, it's in reverse, but I'm going to put it upright for a second. So in this card, you see that this person is weighing off their options um, without looking at it, but they, so like they're, they're using um, more inward, like their feelings, um, they're looking inward, but using logic in doing so to weigh out the options. But this is in reverse. So I feel like there needs to be some logical thinking here. We don't have, um, besides the Empress, you know, with the Libra potential, like that kind of Libra. This is more of a Venus vibe, but like really... That's only hit an air sign on this table, period. Um, so there could be a need uh, to think more logically when making a decision. So you may be frustrated. So like with maybe work or um, in a relationship or a partnership, but there could be, we'll see what the Oracle card says, but there could just be a need of using some logic in regards to making a decision. All right, we just got like a fortune telling card here. Rejuvenation and fulfillment, which really goes hand in hand with what the Empress card has here. So again, what could be block you from that Empress in the future? It looks like either way, I feel like fate is gonna have a hand in everything because it's like regardless, you'll have that rejuvenation and fulfillment. And I feel that speaks loudly in regards to what the Empress is about. Um, so I feel like in the end, there's not too much to worry about. I think you just have to kind of get through whatever you're going through now. Um, get some clarification on what's going on now here with the Six of Pentacles. Because the Empress is a lot also in the future about relationships, um, love. Okay. Going on here. Can get some clarification here for the Six of Pentacles, please. Um, in the past and present, you could have felt like things are taking too long as well with that earthy energy. Um, like things aren't moving as fast as you would like them to. I'm not going to put this out, but I have the temperance. So it's kind of similar to this card in the sense of like needing to find that balance. Could it be dealing with the Sagittarius as well? 
Um, but it's like in the current time, we're trying to find that balance between like that give and take. Um, see? So to clarify, the Six of Pentacles is um, either, you know, that financial issues or the, the lack of equal give and take. We have a Page of Swords. So we have somebody coming in to um, provide you with a message. Could be, oh, and here's that the air energy. Now we're getting it. So that might actually be what helps get you to that inference as well. Um, so don't, I think, be, try not to be logical and find strength. We have the strength card, or no, I'm sorry, we have the two of pentacles. Um, from Lord, two of swords. So we have page of swords, two of swords, and then we have the eight of cups. Before I even, like I just want to say that before I mix it up all over again. Um, so somebody can bring a message that has you in your, stuck in your head and kind of going back and forth and almost about like, it's like you're trying to make a decision looking at both sides, like looking at different perspectives and um, looking inward. Like, it's like two parts of you, the light and that dark, looking at each other, looking inward. Um, this is the Eight of Cups, so this is like walking away from something. Um, so it's like leaving your cups behind. They're all neatly stacked. Um, you're okay with walking away from them to get something better. You're like, forget those. I can go get more cups somewhere else. Um, so if there is any issues with um, either employment or a partnership, um, a relationship, this could even be a friendship. I just see this is a general reading. So I just see that you are provided a message or you or you see something and you process that information um, and think about it that has you in your head looking at like the pros, the cons, like really looking inward to like really think about it. I don't think you just jumped to a conclusion, um, but in the end you may decide to walk away from something that is not giving you an equal give and take, which then it's like, okay, you go from this uh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse to having the Empress card, which is full of abundance. Um, you could also in the future be feeling very, um, like a lot of people are very attracted to you or that you come off a little mysterious. Um, you start feeling like a new person again. You are able to birth something new because you are out of that conflict that you were in. So whether that conflict was within your mind or with somebody else, um, with that imbalance, you're going to get yourself out of that hot mess and become the impress, impress here. Um, you'll feel rejuvenated because you'll give birth to a new you, a new person. Um, yeah, I just feel like, yeah, you'll... We'll give birth to a new you and you'll feel like I think once you basically it's almost like when you walk away from something it's like almost like a weight lifted off your shoulders like emotionally like you you'll feel like more grounded um the only thing and again with the justice card this doesn't necessarily need to just be about you not using your logic I think no matter what you're going to get to this renewed rejuvenated and fulfillment state um it just may think make things harder if you don't lose your use your logic and look inward which we have you doing in the present here so I feel like that looking inward will be fine. So just making sure to use that logic. This could also be a Libra that could block you as well. Or something unfair happening. So something that, that you feel like is unfair happens. And it's going to be a matter of how you handle that situation. That will make it easier or not. But regardless, you have the Empress in your future. And then your Oracle card being the Chalice. So I do see good things there. Let me wrap this up here. So I do see like that frustration and balance in the past and then coming into the presence where present where you're working on gaining that balance. 
because you're aware of the issue and you're trying to fix it and and you're really thinking it through and you're either provided you either see something or somebody gives you a message that has you really weighing out the pros and cons um, looking inward um, like almost meditating and stepping aside to really think things through um, to end up just deciding to walk away from whatever that issue is. And whatever that issue is, which may may be conflict, you're just I just see yourself getting in the future out of conflict that makes you just feel like a whole new person. Like this impressed, like she looks like a freaking goddess. Look at her. She's just her hair's flowing in the wind. She got a bird on her shoulder looking like a Disney princess. Um she is pregnant. That doesn't mean you are pregnant. You could be slim to none, but this could be for a very, very few of you. Um, but this is really just about giving birth to something new. You see these flowers blooming, and I think it really goes well with feeling rejuvenated um, and feeling um, like things are drawn to you. I think you'll see things change here in the future. For certain it's just a matter of how easy it's gonna be or how hard it's gonna be like I think regardless you're going to get there um, the only energy that I mean even with this we have a little bit of that fire energy in the future um, so we got a little bit so this is a general reading so technically you could be dealing with any any sign the ones that stick out the most is um, Libra and then um, Taurus but again this could, could be any sign And yeah, that's what I have here for you guys. So thank you guys um, for your patience. Again, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Um, and I will get a video out for you guys next month. Appreciate you guys. Happy New Year.